Hancock Hancock Fiano, McLaren Vale, Australia 2016 from 13 pounds and 50 pence, Noel Young Wines Oxford Wine Ferrum Wine Cellar Australian wine was for years pigeonholed by European winemakers for lacking diversity in both style big, fruit driven, a little cumbersome and grape variety, Chardonnay, Shiraz, Cabernet Sauvignon. So there's a certain irony that, just as the world has come to realize that Aussie takes on what the French would call the classic or noble varieties, including Pinot Noir, are among the best of their kind produced anywhere, Australian wines made from all manner of unusual grape varieties are starting to make a claim on our attention. Campania's white grape Fiano has been one of many successful transplants from the warmth of southern Europe, offering, in this example from Hancock Hancock, a beguiling mix of mouth-filling stone fruit and racy bittersweet lime freshness. SC Pinel Tempranilla Toriga, McLaren Vale, Australia 2016 18 pounds and 99 pence, Noel Young Wines Oz Wines One winemaker at the forefront of the development of what Australians call alternative varieties is Stephen Pinel, who is based in the McLaren Vale region of the Aussie wine industry's South Australian heartland. Formerly the cheap red winemaker at the Vast Hardy Enterprise, Panel's solo project makes some vibrant reds from classic Aussie grapes such as Grenache and Syrah from old bush vines but its panels work with Italian, Spanish and Portuguese varieties that I find most exciting, making, in the case of his combination of Tempranilla and Toriga Nacional a rich but glossily supple, spicy and fragrant red that recalls the best of modern Rioja and Portugal's Douro Valley while being very much their own, new Australian thing. Jim Barry Asiartico, Clare Valley, Australia 2016 from 17 pounds and 99 pence, Corking Wines Noel Young Wines The Soul and Cellar South Australia's Clare Valley is best known for its exhilarating use of the German grape Riesling, producing an energetic, limey style that somehow manages to be simultaneously invigorating and austere. The area has now proved equally adept for a variety that shares some of Riesling's steely qualities. Certainly, the Berry clans for Stever Australian example of Greece as a Cerdico is a gloriously nervy, bright dry white wine, a torrent of seafood-friendly minerals and lemons contain that is all the more remarkable when you consider how quickly it's come into existence. Winemaker Jim Berry only tasted the variety for the first time while on holiday in Santorini in 2006, importing cuttings from Greece and planting the first vines once they'd emerged from quarantine in 2012. Follow David on Twitter at Dave Adibach.